What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we did a little thumping thumping. Yeah, we got a little competitive. Yeah, well, just a little bit. Uh, we would not let go of the whole battle tent thing. We finally defeated all three trainers, and then we made our way straight to Route 114, 15, all the way to the Meteoric Falls to find out that, well, shoot, we got another criminal gang that we have to deal with, and that's Team Magma. Yeah. I think that's what happened right there. Now, before we do anything, let's go straight into the Rydell bike store and talk to this man right here. Yes, let's go right ahead and switch out our bikes. So we've already done everything going into the last episode with the mock bike. We're going to be needing the acro bike for this particular event because, well... Yeah, look at this. Acrobatics. What if I just rode my bike all the way to where I need to go with just doing this? I don't know. But I'm gonna do it anyways. Look at that. I'm just bouncing up away. Look at that. That's right. Anywho, uh, let's see. What else do we need to do right here? Oh yeah, bounce our way. Yes, we're bouncing our far way. <laughs> Everybody's looking at us like, you know that? That could be bad for your tires. Yeah, don't look at me. Rydell does some pretty good, uh, some some quality uh, tires right there. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be bouncing our, our way back to, I guess, the mountains, the volcano area right here. Look at this. That's right. I'm riding dirty. Don't look at me. Don't look at me weird. I'm riding dirty. Look at that. Route 112. People are going to be wondering, like, what, what the heck is this guy doing? Good God. <laughs> and here we go, guys. We finally reached our destination. Let's go straight up right here because there is a little bit of a gang warfare going up right here. And yes, cable car, take us away. I remember taking this for like the first time back in Sapphire version. Holy crud, it was a, uh, I was like the mechanics here, pretty awesome, pretty darn great. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take a look at this. So here we are in Mount Chimney. And as you guys can see, we got both Poochie and is fighting each other. But these two guys are like, okay, so they want to make more land, they want to make more water. It does not make any sense. It really doesn't because it's like, okay, we... The world is made... The world is made, uh, like, you know, of both water and land. If we get more of one than the other, we're gonna die! Archie's like, grr, Draven, I should have guessed you showed up. See yourself that what the, what the fanatics of Team Magma are up to? They're trying to inject the, what, the stolen me meteorite power into its volcano. Doing something like that will cause the volcano's eruption. Well, we don't want that to happen, but everybody's fighting right here. We don't need to fight everybody. Yeah. But we are the heroes of this story right here. So let's go right ahead. And let's see. You know what? Let's go right ahead and go with uh, Sage of the Halo right here. All right, bring it on. Maximum effort. We of Team Magma are working hard for everyone's sake. Like, if that's the if that thing's power made more land, there'd be more places to live. Everybody, everybody would be happy. But where would the water be? If there were me, or if there were more land, it'd be able to get a big or get a big house of my own. I'm going to build it on the hardened lava. Yeah, people just don't make sense here. It really doesn't. Okay, so here we go. Double battle. Team Magma Grunts. They, of course, only have one Pokemon each, and they will be having, uh, well, a Numel and a Zubat. So let's go right ahead and start kicking some butt, taking some names. Let's go with the Sludge Attack right here. Uh, Leaf Blade right here. I know we are at a huge disadvantage. And that right there is a critical hit. Not very effective, but the Sludge Attack hopefully will poison again because we've been doing so good with the poison. And no, it has a poison. So here comes a leech life. And no, that does not work. No, okay. And liquid ooze really hurts it. But here comes a magnitude seven. Holy buckets. That nearly takes out venom. And it doesn't affect Zubat. But it does affect Sage. Good gravy. Okay, so let's see. Sludge attack again. Leaf blade again. We're gonna do we're gonna risk it. And just like that, Zubat has been defeated. So now it's a two-on-one affair right here. Let's get it. Vesuvius. Yeah, you're mooching off our points right here. We're trying to evolve it, but look at that. Critical hit does the trick. 
And yes, Numel has been poisoned. And it's going for magnitude 6 right here. This might defeat Venom. Might. It doesn't. But that poison's going to take its effect, and we're going to be uh, victorious here. Look at that. Throwing out that peace sign. But I do have to switch out my Pokemon now and heal him, too. So there it is, guys. We have defeated both Team Magma Grunts, and, well, they're not too happy with us right now. They are not. Okay, so let's go right ahead, switch it out, and uh, do, 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 do. let's see. Let's go with X-Boom right here. Eventually, we're going to have to heal up our Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and take on this guy. <laughs> So you come all this way here, but you're too late. I've already delivered the meteorite to from Meteor Falls to the boss. Oh. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Tabitha, huh? Tabitha's a girl name. Okay, so he's coming out with his Numel. And here we have X-Boom. Let's go with the uproar. Eventually, it's going to have to learn something pretty good, but the uproar is caused, and, well, there comes a uh, Ember attack. The uproar is getting stronger, and here comes the uproar yet again. Say goodbye to Numo. Alrighty, okay. And Tabitha, coming out with a, a Poochiana right here. So we're going to keep uh, keep on going. Thankfully, Poochiana does not have a uh, an Intimidate effect right here. And just like that, we're kicking butt taking names. And yes, we are making more of an uproar. Bam. You can't stop X-Boom. You can't. Mm-mm. X boom, you're becoming useful again, and let's go ahead and continue on. And well, Tabitha, seriously, going with the Zubat. Let's go uproar attack and nearly defeats this guy. Holy crud! Okay, so we calm down. Okay, let's do it again. Uproar attack. That's right. Now it's kind of sad that uproars are only strong move. X boom hasn't learned anything. And, well, here comes a Numel, so we're just going to continue on right here until, it, you know, X-Boom is shut up or something like that. So here we go, X-Boom, uproar. And that nearly defeats Numel right there. And, oh, the Ember attack is hitting us. And here comes uproar yet again for the win. Say goodbye. Okay, alrighty. And just like that, he's like, <laughs> even though he lost, if our leader awakens that thing, what thing? Seriously, what thing? Okay, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon because, well, it's a leader. Obviously, the leader's gonna be stronger than uh, than most people. So let's go with this Super Potion right here. And it, oh wow, yeah, Hyper Potion. Okay, so, holy buckets. Okay, so we need to, we need to buy more items right here. And there we go. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Venom. Or no, not Venom. Let's go with uh, Sage of the Halo right here. And talk to this guy. Let's see what he has to say. The power contained in this meteorite. By amplifying its power with this machine, Mount Jimmy's volcanic activity will intensi uh, instantly intensify. Its energy will grow deep inside the crater and... Foo, 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 foo. Hmm. Who are you? I'd heard Archie bemoaning a child who's been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you he meant. Huh. So you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma? Now listen. Long ago, living things used to uh, use the land to live and grow. That is why, or that is why his land is all important. It is a, uh, what the hell? It is the cradle of all. Hmm, the cradle? To the grave or something like that? I don't even know. That is why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of the landmass. It is for it is to further the advancement of humankind and Pokemon, and for our, and for all of that, we need the power of uh, what sleeps within this mountain. Oh, there was no need for you to learn that much, but no matter, I'll teach you the consequences of meddling in our grand design. I love this song, I really do. This is actually a very very good song for a bad guy. It actually puts me up because it's like, oh man, I'm ready to kick, I'm ready to kick this guy's butt. Okay, so here he comes out with a mighty Anna. Of course, he does have the Intimidate. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead. Leaf Blade for the win. All right. That could have defeated him real quickly, but, you know, it is what it is. So here we go. Leaf Blade yet again. 
Ah, look at that. Mighty Anna has been defeated. Okay. And Vesuvius looking uh, pretty cool. But here he comes out with a Camel Rub. I got the... I got the Pokemon for this guy right here. So let's go, Seablade. Let's go. Alright, Seablade. I don't like you. You don't like me. But it's for the world of Pokemon. Level 25 Camel Rub. Both ground and fire type. This guy right here will not have an effect against you if you have a flying type Pokemon. Or Seablade, for for instance. Look at that. This is the reason why I got Seablade, guys. I see all you guys hating on him. But really, he's, he's, he's useful in some ways. Some. I'm just saying some. Okay, so here we go. Water gun attack. And there goes Camel Rubbed. Oh, yes. You did not like that. And Vesuvius has grown to level 27. And, well, Seablade looking pretty cool. And, well, here comes a Zubat. Let's go right ahead and use Sage of the Halo yet again. Yes, I know. Double weakness, but we kind of need to level up our boy right here. So, let's go with the Zubat. And, well, quick attack right here. And that right there takes it a... Well, it hits it pretty hard right there. But here comes a, a Confusion attack. So, here we go again. Come on. Come on. Crap baskets. Okay. Beat it up a little. God dang it. Okay, so... That's what happens when you you don't listen, so let's go right ahead and use X Boom. And I do believe he's immune to any of these supersonic attacks. So here we go, up uh, uh, uproar attack, and that wing attack really hits us hard. Holy crud. And well, uproar for the win. How's it feel to fail? Okay, alrighty. And just like that, we have defeated Team Magma leader Maxi. He's like, what? I Maxi was cut off guard. No, you just you're not that good. Anywho, Maxi's like, but enough! I will be good. I will I will back off this time. But don't think that this is the last you'll you've seen of Team Magma. Foo foo foo. Even without the meteorite, if we obtain the orb, foo foo foo. Okay, and well Archie's coming up to us, he's gonna be like, Draven, thank you. With your help, we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But you. Whose son are you on? Ah, it doesn't matter. We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. Draven, we shall meet again. Okay. So, the only thing you need to do now is grab the meteorite right here, and bam! You got yourself a meteorite. Not bad. Okay, alrighty. Now, there is one more thing we need to do before we go into Fall Arbor Town. We need to go back to, let's see, oh yeah, before we go into Lava Ridge Town, we need to go to Fall Arbor Town, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so here we are back in Fall Arbor Town, and well, the only thing we need to do now is we actually can go back into Professor Cosmo's house, and go straight to Professor Cosmo, and be like this. Oh, I never, I never should have left uh, myself con uh, coned, or be conned into uh, telling Team Magma where you can find meteorites. That meteorite from Meteor Falls. It's never going to be mine now. Oh, huh. That item. Could it be? Is it the meteorite from the, uh, that Team Magma took uh, uh, from Meteor Falls? Please, may I have it? I'm not asking for it for free. How about in exchange for this TM? Sure, let's go ahead and get this TM. And of course, we're going to get ourselves the TM27. TM27, as many of you guys already know, is a very, very strong move if you're a Pokemon or, you know, nice and friendly. That is return. Oh, I can't believe it! This is really, really great! This is going to help in my research. Oh, I can't... Oh, yeah, yeah, he can't... He's not going to tell me what it is. So, let's see. Look professor, uh, Look at Professor Cosmo. He's so happy. I think it's cute. Ah, she wants him. Um, okay. So, there is something else that I forgot to mention, guys. There is a secret item right here that I failed to see. And you find yourself a Hyper Potion. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Anywho, we're going to go back to Mount Chimney. And we're going to go down Mount Chimney, especially with the Acrobike, and battle some people, and then get into uh, Lava Ridge Town. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so a lot has happened, guys. I went to go buy myself a lot of potions. A lot of Pokeballs and all that crud, and I, <laughs> I pretty much used the majority of those balls on Skyblade. If you guys don't remember who Skyblade was, it's Skarmory. And uh, before we leave... This lady right here will actually sell you some lava cookies for just 200 Poke Dollars. This, of course, heals up any kind of, uh, you know, status, status problems that your Pokemon may have. Okay, so here we are in the Jagged Pass, and this place right here is very, very famous for its, uh, you know, 
the way it looks and all that stuff. Now, make sure to have an acro bike for this because you will want to go up and, and battle everybody else right here. So here it is, Mount Chimney's Jagged Pass. Now this is a, this is what I've always wanted in a mountain. This jagged bumpiness, it rocks my soul. You gotta love the puns, you really do. Okay, so here we go, taking on Eric, and let's go with the Leaf Blade. Let's get to uh, let's get to level 30 right here, and just like that, level 30 Sage, and we have defeated this guy. Yes. Okay, so that's that. Now, the reason why I say the reason why I say I have an acro bike. Let's go right in and take a look. If you guys can see these little bumps right here, the acro bike is capable of jumping it up. That way you can actually get back to where it, uh, where you want to be. There are quite a few places right here that you can actually that you actually want would want to go up. That way you, you can grab every single item. And well, would you look at this? Ha! Huh. What are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business is it, is it yours? Uh oh. So wow, this is a uh, this is brand new. We're gonna be taking on a team aqua or team magma grunt, and he is not too happy that we have discovered his little secret place or his favorite spot right there. Okay, so here we go, leaf blade for the win, and Poochiana has been defeated. Oh my god. Okay, so let's see, new mole coming out. Let's go straight for Sea Blade right here. Yes, eventually I'm gonna have a. Uh, Eventually, I'm gonna have teams made out of like the the nicknames I made, like the blades, the the blades, the mons, and I believe anything else in between. Oh, the Ninja Turtles too. Yeah, let's not forget the Ninja Turtles. I I think I already I think I'm already up to six Ninja Turtles. Probably I don't even know. But look at that. We have defeated Team Mama Grunt, and yes, the the hideout has to be uh, protected. <coughs> Excuse me. Talking to him, he's like, okay, okay, I admit it, you're strong. Don't worry about me. Go wherever you want to go. Hmm. You said something about hideout. I don't like what you just said. And, well, let's see. Pokemon you can actually find here. Uh, let's see. Well, you can find Machops. And then, uh, Grumpig's pre evolved form. I can't remember the name of his Pokemon. Little Piglet -like Pokemon. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue our battles right here. Take it on this lady. This place isn't your casual hike. It's not suited for a picnic. It really isn't. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on another picnicker. Her name is Diana. And, well, let's go ahead and switch it. Let's go with a Fury Cutter, of course. We're going to be getting hit by Paralysis. So let's go straight to Vesuvius. Give it a little love. Go with an Ember Attack. And coming out with a Swablu, let's go straight for our good old buddy Venom. And bam. Yes, we have defeated them all. Swablu, Swablu, and, uh, and all these other Pokemon I can't remember. Holy crud. They're like, what, a thousand and five Pokemon now. That is kind of a crazy thought, because it, it started off with 150, 151, and next thing you know, it just continued increasing. It was just ridiculous. I climb this hill every day. I have confidence in my strength. And hey, it's awfully scary to shoot down the mountain in one go. Uh -oh. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and take on Picnicker Autumn and Triathlete Julio. And they're coming out with some pretty good Pokemon, so let's go, let's see. Gotta go with this guy, and Sludge Attack right there. There it is, level 25 Venom. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Vesuvius, and you know what, let's go ahead and switch out to X-Boom right here, and... So Vesuvius has Ember Attack, and we go with the Rock Smash, and just like that, we have defeated both our opponents. And, well, I don't think there's anything else that you can actually find here, except the rare Pokemon. Well, not so rare Pokemon, but... BAM! Jagged Pass is hard to walk on. It's a good place for training. It really is. Remember the first go around in my Pokemon Sapphire game? I trained right here just to get strong for the next gym. It's always... It's always a... Like, as a kid, that's always, like, the hardest part is the grind of uh, trading your, your Pokemon. It, it usually takes time. And boy, time, like, time is, uh, you know, it's, it's here and there. It's neither here nor there when it comes to, like, trading your Pokemon as a kid. Because you got chores, you got this, you got that, you got homework. Holy crud, I could not use my Game Boy 
during the weekdays on a school night. And then even then, when I got into high school, I never really used it at all. So here we are, Route 112, going into the Lava Ridge Town. And well, as you guys can see, there's not a lot that you can actually do right here. So, in the next episode, yes guys, we're going to be doing it in the next episode. We will, let's see, we will rock you. We will be taking on the Fall Arbor City Gym. Or no, not the Fall Arbor City Gym. Why do I keep on saying that? No, the Lava Ridge City Gym, or Lava Ridge Town Gym. And from there, we're going to be doing a lot of great stuff. Awesome stuff. Big stuff. Anywho, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys again for being, uh, for watching the episode, for enjoying it and all that stuff. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, heart bunch right there. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. See you guys.